Some females like to get tied, but he handcuffed me to the bed. And did what? Tried to take off my clothes, but um, his wife had came in. So, I grew up in a system. You grew up with his sister? I grew up in the system. In the system. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, so. That's how it all started. Okay, so you just got here. So what's your plan? Like, do you just, what's your plan? Um, my plan was to go to job for him. How did he get you to do fit now? How did that conversation to go? make money. Did he say, hey, babe, you know, we need to get some money up? Like, how did that conversation go? He just told everybody how. My game was. I mean, you want to go sign up for that real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Like underlay, like ASAP. Well, come on, they close at five. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. He can come with it if, if he won't. All right. What's up, YouTube? Man, shout out to everybody that shows love out here. I appreciate y'all. That keeps me charged up. Now back to the content. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? Good. Good, good, good. Listen, come on over here. I'm actually going to move you in the... Uh, give me. All right. Car. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. So how you doing today? Great. All right, all right. So are you homeless? Yeah. Okay. So how old are you? I'm 19. 19? Okay. And so how long have you been homeless? Um, let's say about two months. About two months. What happened two months ago that caused you to become homeless? Uh, drug addiction. I had a overdose on fentanyl. Um. What happened when you had that overdose? Like, did you end up? I did. I died. Did you end up going to the hospital, stuff like that? Yeah. Right, but how how did that lead to you being outside and being homeless or whatever? Um, I grew up in a system. You grew up with his sister? I grew up in the system. In the system. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, so. That's how it all started. Okay, so long story short, you kind of been out here a little bit since 18, I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay, so I get that. So let's just, um, do you have any kids? One. One? How old? Four. Four? Okay, wow. Um, so that means you had them when you was about 15, maybe 14? 15. Okay, okay, so we'll dive into that in a second. Um, and have you ever been married? No. No. Okay. So let's just, let's just, okay. So first and foremost, um, you said that you just got out of a domestic violence shelter? Yes. Yesterday. Just yesterday? When was you going through the domestic violence? For, from 2021 till 2024. Okay. And so you just got out of the shelter. How long was you in that shelter for? Four days. Okay, why'd you leave? It wasn't working. I felt like it was working. Well, what happened? Tell me. Um, I know it's going to sound crazy, but racism. You say racism? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, just tell us what happened. My eyes were getting made on me, so I called one, one of the girls a bitch. Okay, and so they kicked you out? Well, okay. they didn't kick me out. They just... Told me that I couldn't be there, but I can go back if I would need to. Okay, so okay, but why? What lies were they making up on you? Like telling them that I had weed on me. <laughs> what they did couldn't you? Find them. <laughs> they did. Okay, I okay, I got you. Okay, so okay, so bottom line is you had to leave there. Um, how long? And so you was in that relationship for almost three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that the father of your kid? No. No? That's a different guy? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So let's 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 talk let's okay. Let's just start from the beginning. So where are you from? I am from Chicago, Illinois. You're from the Shy? Man, I always find people from the Shy, man. I swear to God. What part of Chicago? Uh I say Sister King Wong. That was that Southside? Mm hmm Okay, shout out that Southside Chicago, man. Shout it out, shout it out. All right, so growing up in Chicago, um, so you say that you grew up in the system? Yeah. Okay, at what age did you enter into the system? Ten. Came down here. No, this was like in 2011. So well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how old was you? In 2011, I'll be either 10 or 11. Well, no, no, you say you're 19 now, right? Yeah, so I was seven. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, 11 years ago, 
Well, yeah, seven or eight. Okay. Seven okay. or eight, yeah. Okay, so you're seven or eight. Um, when you got into the system, who'd you live with before that? My mom. Okay. And so what happened to where you had to be taken from your mama and go into the system? Same thing, domestic violence. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, okay, so, so so basically what happened? Like, why why did you get taken away from your mom? Domestic violence. Um, starvation. So she she was being, like, she was being beat on or whatever? Okay, so she was being beat on, I guess, by her boyfriend or whatever? By who? Uh, no, I was being beat on. Oh, you was being beat by her? Yes, and oh, her friends. And her friends? Yes. Okay, okay. Wow, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, did anything else happen to you? Like, okay, so as far as that stuff goes. Okay, so you when went. I got, when I came to Georgia, the first house that I went to was a police officer and I got with a um, police belt which wow. left Mark that's pretty thick okay so that was pretty traumatic I mean how long did you stay at that house four years four years wow yep. okay okay I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and ask just because we hear this all the time in foster care um, did any type of sexual assault or anything like that ever happen to you Yes and no. Tell me about it. Uh, I was like, when I ran, like, I used to run from defense. Okay. Which happens a lot. We hear that all the time. So I used to run away, and, and so what, what happened? Uh, him and Chaffee. What age did this happen at? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. 17. 17? And so, okay, so paint the picture for me. So basically, you ran away from home. Um, what happened? Was you just walking on the street or what? Did you go to someone's house? Or, at night. Okay. Did you go somewhere or was you just walking around? I was going somewhere and the place I was at was not safe. And uh, who was there? I did not know. Who was there? Uh, this. Okay. Okay, and so so you went to a house that you thought, I guess, would be okay or whatever. And what ended up happening? Like, was there like a bunch of guys there? Or you tell me it what was happened? My friend and a couple of older guys that um, it was not a house appropriate. Like, a child should not be there. They should be. At what was home. what was going on at the house? A lot of drug dealing. So it's a trap house, basically. Everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so it's a trap house, and so, I mean, you were 17, though. Know, like, what did you think would happen when you went to the trap house? I don't know. I was just there to come to my friends. So. Was that your first time going there? When you say your friend, you talking about your male friend? Yeah. Okay, so do you think and that he, he was, bought you there he on was purpose? 15. He was 15. That was the one that's two years younger than you that you're talking about. Yep. So do you think he bought you there on purpose? Um. Uh, Kind of, yeah. I mean, do you, uh, I don't want to put thoughts into your head, but I'm asking, do you think that, you know, did you already think that or suspe suspect that he bought you down on purpose? No. No? Okay. They put you in human trafficking? Yeah. So, so they had you where you was having sex with the guys? No. Okay, so human what? Human trafficking is starting us 19 this year. Okay, so the human... I was close because I was on... Um, Okay, so that's the overdose she was talking about. Yeah. So that's the human trafficking that happened this year. How did you end up in human trafficking? Um, uh, somebody that I knew from Columbus. He, I met him, and he started. We started talking and chilling. Then all of a sudden. He wanted me to sell. He he wanted me to do him and Chapman. I'm not gonna to sell the Kudika. I get it, right? So he wanted yeah. you to sell that. How did that conversation to go? Make money. Did he say, "Hey, babe, you know we need to get some money up"? Like, how did that conversation go? He just told everybody how my head how, game was. How your head game was? So he was like, "Oh man, she got that bomb. This and that and the third. Yeah. And so. 
how much like was y'all charging for that? Uh, I was like, I really didn't care just how much. So you were just I doing. I see like how much a person has. If they think like I go up to like fifty. Or, um, I mean, were they giving you? I'm trying to figure out were they giving you the money? Or they giving him the money? Him. Okay, so basically he was just it's getting. Sometimes me. Okay, so so almost like basically was pimping you out. Yeah, basically. Okay, was it just head or was it also sex as well? Just head. That doesn't seem true. <laughs> that doesn't seem truthful. No, yeah, just head. <laughs> okay, so he didn't have you having sex and doing stuff like that. Mm -mm. No. Okay. And so, right, that's not having sex though. So, but no. right, okay, so, okay, because I'm trying to figure out, you know, like, when did you get on the fentanyl? The fentanyl was. Was that before the trafficking was, or after? After. So that was after you got with your boyfriend and after he started trafficking you? Yeah, it was like, a day, no, it was during Christmas, December. Okay, so this was like a few months ago. Yep. And so, how did he get you to do fentanyl? It, I was already high from weed, and I had took some cocaine that I didn't even know there was. He just told me, to, hey, try this. So I tried it. Soft or hard? Huh? Soft or hard? Was, what you mean? The cocaine. It was soft. Okay. Like powder. Like. Right, powder. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so, and then... And then I had to do ice. You had, was, What do you mean had to do? I was do, forced to do ice. You was forced to do it? How did he force you? Like, he'll get mad if I don't do it. Okay, so he kind of... Okay, so... And how old was this boyfriend? That you, he was 36. Okay, so he's a little bit older than you. Okay. Okay, okay. And so... How long was you doing all this type of work? Well, I'd say about, what, two months? Probably, two months? No, I'll take that back. Started in December. It's about four months. About four. Okay. What is it that made you decide to stop? I asked myself that I didn't want to be, be like that. I want to be something better. I want to be better than what I was raised in. How many guys would he have you doing that to a day? It, it depends. I say about like either two or three at the most. Okay, okay. Okay, two or three. Um, What would you do with the rest of your day? Like, what would the rest of your day consist of? Um, Money. <laughs> <laughs> Just like little hustle see. here, there, little hustle here, there? Okay, okay. okay. Um, not worry about just kind of situation. floating and Try just to block that situation out. what situation the human trafficking right but I was asking what was you doing during your day when you was in human trafficking on my phone okay it's just on your phone all the time okay okay and smoking and smoking I get it I get it oh <sighs> okay so you grew up in Columbus yeah. um in 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 defects yes okay what would you say was the most traumatic thing that did happen to you while you was in the system Going to jail. Went in jail when I was 17. So For what? Aggravated assault. Had two, had two knives in my hand. Okay, so just for having the knives, they gave you aggravated assault? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, it was because somebody had told, um, had told the officers that I was chasing them with the knife, knowing it wasn't true. So okay. They just gave me two, two weeks and two days. I didn't have to do the whole five and ten. Okay. All right. So real quick, because earlier you did say that when you got to the, whatever the trap house was when you were 17 or something like that, mm -hmm. that there was a there. Are you saying that you got while you was there? No. So how do you I know? I was like, since I was the only girl and the police was looking for them, look for the person. Uh-huh. I, I was questioned by the police. So I had to tell them. What happened? Ooh, you had to snitch? Yeah. Okay, so you had to tell them. I mean, what did you tell them? That they was um, trafficking other girls. 
I mean, it was girls that older than me that was over there. And so just to be clear, we're talking about this just happened when you was 19 or this happened when you were 17? No, I was 17. Okay, okay. So that happened when you were 17. And then this uh, trafficking situation that you're talking about happened, happened just yes, now, yes. just recent, yes. Okay, where's that guy? That guy is in jail. What do you go to jail for? Chasing somebody with a machete Ooh. and cutting them with it Ooh. at McDonald's. At McDonald's. Okay. This, this the old McDonald's right here, y'all. <laughs> I just got a threatening phone call said to meet somebody here. And they ain't coming up. Anyway. All right, all right. Okay, so you're 19. Um, you're what do you like? Do you do you talk to your foster parents still and all like that? No, do you didn't have a good relationship with them. I did. It's just I don't want to remember about that past. So tell me what happened. Really, it's just like when you like. I'm very smart, so. I, my body reacts different. My body tells me if something, if I should, if I should do this, it's a good idea, or if it's not. So, when I make the decisions to like either run, it's for a purpose. Is something happening in the house that's causing you to run? Yeah, and like, what is I used this? to have SSI, which is like. Yeah, you get a check. Yeah. Right. But it was from my mother. They um wouldn't give you the money. No. Mhm. Mm I didn't even know that I had it until I was like maxing out these bags. Then my food stamps. People use my food stamps to sell to get money. To sell right. Drugs. They sell the food stamps. Okay. Okay. So it was that type of stuff going on. Yes, sir. Okay. I mean, yes, sir. I get it. I get it. Okay, but definitely not any type of sexual assault or anything like that going on. Mm -mm. Okay, because we see people running away for, for that too. Okay, okay. So it's just a lot Not of... Not other kids, yeah. So you, you know that that happened to other kids yeah. while you was in different houses? Wow. Were those kids, was, was those kids, you know, male or female? Both. Wow. And so you knew about it. Why do you think that was happening to them but wasn't happening to you? Because I knew I knew not of. I mean, they'll try me, but they, it'll be. Who tried you? Um, the police officer. He did? Yeah. Well, what age was that? Because you was there from like seven to 11, right? Yeah. So I'd when? I'd say about eight. About eight? What did he do? Mm, some, some females like to get tied. But he handcuffed me to the bed. And did what? Tried to take off my clothes, but um, his wife had came in. So. Huh. Was that the only time that he tried to do something like that? Yeah. And then, like, there's an apartment complex in Columbus called Ashley Station. Every night I have, like, eight or nine cars following me, different cars. For what? Human trafficking. Hmm. Okay, so how long ago did you get here to Atlanta? Yesterday. You so I was about to say I haven't seen you. Like, okay, so you just got here. So what's your plan? Like, do you just what's your plan? Um my plan was to go to job for. So why don't you do that? Because y'all ain't got one here. Yeah, we do. Here. I'm sure there's they a job court. They well, they shut the old one down, but I'm sure. Let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to get my GD. Hey man, yeah, I want you to. Get my hold ID. on real quick. Let me hold on. Let me see. Yeah, they got it. Atlanta Job Corps rec recruitment is, it looks like it's right up the street from here. Let me see. It's 
not far. It's in Midtown. So it's not far. It's like kind of like 10 minutes from where we at. I mean, you want to go sign up for that real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Like Andale, like ASAP. Well, come on. They close at 5. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. You can come with it if you want. All right. All right, so, you know, we drove here. <laughs> I, I guess I should have tried to call the place first or whatever, but on Google, it said that it was open and everything else. So I got excited. Um, and, you know, it was only about seven minutes away. But they're not here anymore. They're been, they've been out of this building for, I think, the lady said about two years now. And the new Job Corps is, I guess, currently being built, but it's not built yet. So I guess you're right. They don't have Job Corps here in Atlanta. Um, so, <laughs> abort mission, <laughs> abort mission. Okay, so what are, what are your plans? Like, you're here now, you just got here. You know, you're super young. I mean, what are you gonna do? Make the best of it. You say what? Make the best of it. I get that. I get that. I mean, I guess, let me just be more direct, right? I don't wanna see you like end up in, cause I see how when people come here, and then, you know, Atlanta, like you say, is a bigger city than where you're from, you know? And so people tend to get swallowed up here. You know, they tend to get swallowed up. And I, I just don't want to see that happen to you. Um, so, I mean, you know, I guess, are you going to try to go to a shelter or something like that? Yeah, I'm supposed to be there at five. We're okay. Five. Okay, okay, good. So, all right. So I'm going to bring you back over there by five points? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool beans. So... We'll do that, but well, listen, I was really hoping I could, you know, help you to get signed up for Job Corps real quick. Didn't quite work out the way we wanted, but it's all good. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. If anybody out there wanted to reach out, help or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Yeah. What you I got? got cash app. What's your cash app? Chanel, C-A, dollar sign C-H-A-N-E-L, the number four, life, L I F E number one no Chanel for life number one K okay Chanel okay. for the number four life number one, one K mm -hmm. okay okay um any IG or Facebook Facebook Zaria T I mean Z A R I A Bowie B O W I E Instagram um, baby mama underscore two times. You say baby mama <laughs> <laughs> underscore two times? Yeah, because I, I was going to um, circle back to that. So, yeah, you had a kid at 15. Um, who was that with? You look at all shy and stuff. Just that I grew up with in Chicago. And you met up down here in Georgia? Yeah. Okay, did they move down here to Georgia? Or did you they go up to Chicago? To they came to visit? Who did they come to visit? Me. How old were, was they? 16. Okay, so they came to visit you. Were they like staying with you or were they staying with one of their family members or what was going on? They were staying with Okay, and so how long was he here for? How long did he visit for? Um, I say about two years. Oh, so he came here and was down here for two years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so y'all ended up doing that, and you ended up having a baby. Okay, um, and as far as it goes, like, where's that baby at right now? With my auntie. With your auntie? Is that your biological auntie? Okay, and there's that that up in Chicago. Okay. Well, Milwaukee. Okay, I get it. Little Chicago. <laughs> okay, so, um, and, you know, like, when was the last time you saw your baby? Ready for me to tell the truth or lie? Well, I always want the truth. I don't know. No, I said it at, uh, before I came to Atlanta. So, about, like. So, I mean, basically, you don't get to see, is it a her or him? A her. So, you don't get to see her that often? No. Um, you know, do you think she misses you? Yeah. Do you miss her? Yeah. How come you don't get to see her a little more often? 
because I'm down here. She's up there. Okay. Can't get a quick little bus ticket or nothing? No? I guess you got your own situations going on down here, so. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming that the dad isn't really active and present in her life, or is he? Because yeah. he lives up there, right? Mm -hmm. So he's, he's present in the daughter's life. Okay. Well, that's a great thing. Okay. So he's actually more active and present than you are. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. Well, listen, miss, like I say, we really appreciate you and definitely wishing them for the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. All right.